Hello, welcome to another horrific unboxing. Uh, these are something I've been or meaning to order for a little while. Um, very excited getting back to and stuff, but as um, Legacy of the Beast Tour kicks off next month, and I'm hoping maybe get down to either Donington or over to Bell Sonic, um, I thought I'd get myself some of these, the Legacy of the Beast uh, miniatures. I uh, don't know if you, any of you have played the game, but you know, Bit of fun, uh, mobile game. Moves are pretty simple, there's nothing very spectacular. Um, gets a bit grindy as you get on, but you can play through the levels if that makes sense without having to pay anything. So, good for a bit of you know, casual playing and uh, wasting a bit of time, which we all love to do. And of course, Zad Maiden, all the music playing in the background, so uh, a lot of fun. Uh, so, in the game, uh, Eddie, Eddie uh, Iron Maiden's mascot, appears in various forms, and that's the idea, you work through the game, you get points, uh, you get upgrades, and each Eddie variant of it uh, comes with various powers, so don't even see that, but give it a wee second, there's basically some of the iterations, now, these ones ordered for these, these are like a mystery pack, so you don't know actually what's in it until you open it, so, I got... Did I get these all around the river? Aha! So I've got four to start me off. Tell you what, these are actually. That's one thing about Iron Maiden. Um, even if you're not a fan of the music, the band, the artwork, you know what I mean? The artwork they have produced, the character, and the whole um, visual aspect and the performance aspect behind it is absolutely astounding. And for a band that's gone over 40 years now, you know what I mean? Uh, I've been going my entire lifetime and then some, so you you gotta respect that, you know. And they're still uh, they're still pulling out of, out of the bag. And they've actually more fans now than at the start, and of like generations of like <laughs> grandparents taking grandkids and stuff. It's uh, a phenomenon, unlike anything else. So they they're the kind of smaller ones, and then you get most of these are flipping sold out. When you go on the Army Maiden website, God, most of this, oh God, that's shiny. Hang on. Uh, you'll not be able to see that. So these larger ones, um, I'm going to take them out of the box. But a lot of them, a lot of the variants are sold out. So sorry, that one's a vampire hunter already. I'll get back to these in a second when last big box. And of course, you can't be you can't be an Iron Maiden fan without Number of the Beast Daddy. If you remember, I did an unboxing for the 40th anniversary, so I've kind of had Iron Maiden rattle about in my head for a while since buying that. Like, ooh, more stuff. So let's start with the Blue Beast first, I think. I think we'll have to do that. We've been wrong, I'll tell you what's going on. Yeah, I know, someone's going to be like, no, oh, you keep the box, but I don't, I don't buy stuff to keep in the box. Uh, it's going to end up behind me somewhere. More this way, that's kind of. There's no point in this. Holy moly. Sorry, there's absolutely tons of sticky stuff. Really professional and slick and smooth, these uh, videos are, though. But, out of that, you actually see me unboxing rather than being all pre prepared in a script and pretending to do it. It's Kind of was the point, I mean, not to share the experience with you, not just um, be trite. Ah, uh, funk. God, the packaging's uh, oh. Oh. Maybe made out of vinyl. Sorry, I'm just being careful because I didn't actually read. The description of what they're made out of. I'm just like, yeah, Maiden, Harry, stuff. That is pretty bloody decent. Oh, look at the wee. Oh, hang on. Inspired by number of the weeks. Right. Any Iron Maiden fans tell me what's wrong with this picture? What is missing? Although, 
can see it. It's still a nice model. Maybe it was too fragile to add. Got some size of the base. But if I show you the main picture, the whole oh god, that was shiny. But so the whole point is, you've got Eddie control the devil, and then yeah, it goes right. You've got a wee human at the bottom, so that's the whole idea that we're that insignificance to the, the powers of the universe and all that kind of stuff, but we don't appear to have a wee human, which, be on, no it doesn't look as if there's, there's nothing's broken off, so that just must be the way it is, hang on, let the camera focus, come on camera, never mind my big shiny head, sorry. Right, so there doesn't appear to be anything broken here. So obviously this is the way it is. I'll, I'll have to look at the website and see what the picture of the figurine is like. But yeah, apart from that, apart from not having the wee the human dangling, which I thought it just would have been, you know, the cool final touch. Pretty nice model. And not not super expensive either. Um by the way, everything here is on the Army Eden website, so um I'll put a link in the description. But I mean, not hard to find. Right, let's go on to uh, Vampire Hunter Alley. We have won another edition for who? What's this missing? Just limited edition, right. They are limited because they're bloody hard to get. So we have won, this must have been. Um, I can't remember when. I, I downloaded the game twice. First time I wasn't in the mood um, years ago. Because it's been out for years. Um, so they've obviously had different upgrades and sets and so on. I got far as far as um, completing the Fields of Avalon. So I don't know if there's been new levels since. But after that, the game, you know what I mean? I ran out of levels and I was just kind of faffing about and not really doing much. And I'm not into the whole grind game business of collecting all the stars. I mean, once I get something completed, I'm an old school platform guy, you know, play the platform, beat the end level by, move on. Um, just show me age as well. There you go. Must be a nice box, the, uh, the artwork. I know it's, this one's super shiny for some reason. by Transylvania. You don't need to hear that. It's bad enough you just listen to me speaking and getting on like an agent. Like singing as well. I got a cancel Rubio. Cancel Rubio from working. But I'll tell you what, we don't get the right with this um, vacuum seal stuff. God, that was some steak, that would, that would hurt you got that knee, wouldn't it? But once again, let's, um, let's get him turned here. Come on camera, for flip's sake. Yeah, the problem is, camera's focused on my big fat head. But there's really some nice detail in this. Maybe jeans in as well. Same again. Base. Yeah, these at the bottom has like legs of the beat. You can't really see it. But there's like inscription on the bottom here. Yeah, that is actually uh, yeah, that's a cool figure. So um, I tried to get the parsley of one, god it was sold out. I really love to get the parsley of one or seven sun. If we get bring out seven sun. Samsung definitely be up for a bit of that. Um, full size. Right, let's go on to these ones. If I get four the same, I'm going to be annoyed. But that's that's a problem. It's the same with the, uh, I don't know if everybody remembers the old uh, sticker card things with the bubble gum and uh, never collect the football ones, hate footballs, um, sports. But uh, I used to do, I used to do Transformers and I used to do He Man and all sorts. 
you used to collect those and then you you got a pack you I mean you got a packet you didn't know what the cards were you got loads of the same because that was the whole idea to trap you in you got loads of duplicates and then every so often a rare one you get a silver back one and stuff remember all those I wonder if I do those for like no I don't think I do those for horror that'd be a cool thing I suppose the closest thing was those Funko Pops I got you know the mini ones right so same crap I could in now these are smaller they're, they're larger ones um, these are Sweet. Let me. I'm going to have an aversion to ripping bags open because it have a tendency to go ping and then the item disappears into the ether. Bags in this? Build these? Right. Oh. That's different. Oh, so this is. Uh, yeah, I can tell this is the. Iron Maiden Eddie, the, from the first, so this is what you basically started with. Um, the Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden album, Eddie. Uh, he comes with a set of chains. Oh, it's got that. Holy moly, I thought there's actually more detail. God, there's more detail on that one, right? Oh, camera. No, oh, the back. That's really detailed compared to the larger ones. Yeah, you put them side by side, right? You've actually more detail in the smaller ones. The face, that's amazing. Right, so he comes in bits. So thankfully this isn't, uh, it's not going to be like, uh, in the usual miniatures we have to get the super glue, it just pops in. Oh, right. Of course you have to have 666 on the back of the leather jacket. God, I remember I was going to get a leather jacket in Alchemy one years ago and it was like expensive because um, I don't know if you're familiar with Alchemy gear, uh, it's uh, like add-ons and you get the studs and stuff, uh, super, um, they're pricey wee things and this jacket was all done up. I think it cost me a grand at the end of the day, you know, all the studs and stuff. That was, it was tiny, you know what I mean, it was a, well, sorry, tiny, normal sized person, not a big fat boy like me. So I would have got it except... I'm a chubby lad, and it wouldn't fit, so how are you like that? So do you pick one? Tell them this works. Probably just stretch it out. Oh, I think you stretch the legs out. So, basically what you've got, two holes, and you can just see if you set that in. Oh, right, I think I know what's happening. Because it's, um... That's the other way. Right. So straight away, uh, there's a wee square block, so it even tells you where to... Go, not these guys for people like me. Doink. Ah, that's cool. Just stretches a wee bit. Can live with that. And. Sorry, I didn't plan to do a, a building session on camera, but there you go, better than faff and light. Oh, let's go this way. Can I draw anything up? But that's some cool view though, I'll tell you what actually. No, I thought these were going to be smaller, but they're the same size. Base is slightly larger than this one, but effectively. I thought they were going to be tiny compared to those, but there you have it. Pretty decent. I thought I was going to have a lot of, lot of wee tiny ones. In those game ones, so maybe they're the more, uh, the rare ones, more collectible, so we'll see what we'll get here. We see, it's going to be the same one, but now I'm going to be the hell. Ba -ba ah, I'm defeated by sticky tape. Yoink. It 
Ja, sh- Even Christmas time and jazzies are always fold up the paper neatly. Oh, oh different one. Cool. Oh, is this uh, Brave New World, I think? No, it's not, is it? Oh, shit. It's random. Don't know myself. Oh, I need to look him up. I don't think it's Brave New World. Because um, no, Brave New World comes with like a storm cloud. Do you know what? I'll update the description when I'm stopping and I'll actually going to look everything up. It doesn't say, just one of six eight, right? Here we are, building it again. So is that the square one? Eddie, your family friendly demon. There. Um, I haven't played with this one. I haven't played with this character. Um, I need to figure that out. I thought it was Brave New World, but it's not. Another one. That's cool, all the same. Still a lot of. Camera's probably not picking up, but the the facial expressions, um, some amazing detail there. Right, we're on to number three. God, most videos dragging on a bit. I love our unboxing videos meant to go, by the way. Um, someone let me know. Is there a set time before everyone goes, would he ever get to the point? Or do you just not mind me waffling all while I'm doing this? I just know this is a pretty new segment. I thought we'd do it just for a laugh and also give an excuse to buy stuff and actually with a bit of focus rather than just ban random things that don't fit. So have a plan, keep up the date and stuff because I'm terrible. That's actually the whole point of this. Oh god, right. So, same again. So this is the problem with buying these. You get duplicates. So what we'll do is... I might do like a dual thing, we'll see. But it's that interesting. Because we've seen that one. Right, last one. Last one, you're nearly done. You're nearly free of me. If you've stuck this long, thank you and fair play. Yoink. Same again. So that was a bit unlucky. So basically, I got two new fares. And again, the way I'm probably quite used to leave one too bad. I guess that's a chance to get it. I suppose what happens is they come in batches and then they stick them in the warehouse and then people order them and uh, whack them out. Um, I don't know, I'd stick them in eBay for like two quid or something, who knows. I can't remember how much available, but. There we go. Um, Legacy of the Beast. Let's see how this works. Right, I can fit. Yep. Fit one. Hope this doesn't go uh, belly up. Da 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 da! There we go. Very nice indeed. 
All right, folks, that's it for this one. Um, I'm for sticking with it, and until next time, keep it creepy, keep it horrific. <laughs>